So today we're going to talk about seizures and epilepsy, but we're also going to talk about SUDEP, which stands for Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. And before we get started, please make sure you click the subscribe button and click the little bell to make sure that you keep getting updates. Oh, and please make sure that you watch this video until the end. It's going to be packed with lots of stuff that you've been wanting to know. So let's start with the definition of a seizure. A seizure is caused by abnormal brain activity. So you might ask, well, how is that different than epilepsy? Well, epilepsy is when a person has two or more seizures. That's right, so not one seizure. One seizure doesn't mean epilepsy. But when you have two or more seizures, that's when we start calling it epilepsy. Now, when we think of seizures, many of us think about the, the classic convulsions that many people will have, the shaking, the jerking, and the convulsions. But remember, that's not the only uh, symptoms that a person may have when they have seizures. And some people, their seizures manifest as them simply staring off into space or being confused or sort of um, zoning out for a while. Um, so seizures can really range in terms of the types of symptoms that people have from convulsions and shaking to actually sitting and staring and, and really not being present. What causes epilepsy, you might be wondering? Well, potentially it's a lot of things. Um, epilepsy can be genetic or hereditary, um, but there are other things such as head trauma, strokes, multiple sclerosis, brain trauma, um, even things like meningitis, which is an infection of the brain and spinal cord and even brain tumors. But you have to keep in mind that we don't always say find a particular cause of epilepsy. Sometimes that cause is unknown. To be diagnosed with epilepsy, it takes a few things. One is talking to your doctor and going over your symptoms and, and talking about the things you've experienced. But the other thing your doctor probably will want to do is to get an MRI of the brain, which is an image of the brain. Uh, probably will want to do an EEG, which is a test to measure brain activity, as well as probably blood tests and other tests as well. And using all this information together, your doctor will kind of come to the conclusion that epilepsy may be a possibility. The good thing is that there are medications to help treat seizures and epilepsy. Um, that's really important because these medications help prevent seizures, which is really the goal here. Um, these medications over years have become more effective and their side effects have become less problematic. And that's an excellent thing. What we know is that taking medications, being consistent, seeing the doctor regularly, following up on testing and things like that are really mainstay of treatment for helping control seizures and epilepsy. Okay, now let's talk about SUDEP, Sudden Unexpected Death in Epilepsy. Um, I wanted to read to you what the Epilepsy Foundation says about this because I think they have a great description. And they say that SUDEP occurs when a person with epilepsy dies unexpectedly and was previously in their usual state of health. This is really important. Um, and they say that every year, more than one in 1,000 people with epilepsy die from SUDEP. Now, the exact causes of SUDEP is not entirely known. Research is being done, and researchers are looking at things such as breathing and heart rhythms and brain activity to really understand what may be going on and why it's caused. But we do know that SUDEP usually happens at night. According to the Epilepsy Foundation, the greatest risk for SUDEP is someone who has frequent seizures. We also know that there are other people that are at higher risk, um, people between the ages of 20 and 40, um, people who may have changed medications recently or maybe who are not taking their medications as prescribed. Um, there are other potential risk factors as well, but I think the bottom line is there's still a lot that we still need to learn about sudden um, unexpected death in epilepsy. Please make sure you subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Also make sure you hit the little bell and thanks for joining me.